And let's scoop it! Oh, I love getting dolled up as your favorite tree. But when the season is over, there's no use for me. If here I sit wishing the world wouldn't ignore that I'm more than just one thing that you know me for. Aww. A Christmas star, someone who's famous for Christmas. Such a shame that I spend so long in exile. That's a TV show. That could be a television star. When I could dish out more talents to make the world smile. Dish out. She's a cook. I'm more than an expert in delicious treats, if you recall. I'm like the old school entertainers who could do it all. So that's why I'm here, to jazz up my career and inspire you to think of me more than once a year. Jazz up? So she's a jazz singing cook. I know first impressions are of great importance, so I'm ready to wow with my first live performance. That's interesting. Yeah. I wonder why they chose to be a Christmas tree. Is it Martha Stewart? <laughs> Could be. Performance talk with the tree, please. She's already one of my favorite front runners from the personality to the outfit to the wow. way she knows how to work the outfit. She's completely in character. Yeah, and I thought I it was great. So what are you saying? You don't want her to leave? Oh, brother. <laughs> All right. I already, did, I already did that one. Guys, get the pun police. Pun police. Hello? Yeah, I'll hold. All right. Ken, you picking up on any clues? Someone who's not a singer, someone who's famous, for something Christmas. I think that you are an actor from a Christmas movie, like something like Christmas Story or Christmas Vacation, like Beverly D'Angelo. I really like that. Oh, thank you. I was going off that route as well. Oh my God, really? so that's what you were picking you up are. on, Nicole? I can't even make fun of you. <laughs> I'll go off of the Christmas Vacation movie. I was thinking of um, Beverly D'Angelo. <laughs> And also, because she's so cute, I was thinking Zoe Deschanel, who was an elf. Zoe, though, I gotta tell you, Zoe has this more of kind of a sultry She's got voice. a smoky, yeah, rich like, smoky, voice. This woman can sing out loud. Yeah, she can she's have a power voice. So then I was thinking delicious treats, dish out, so a cook. So I was thinking Rachel Ray. Rachel like also that. has a voice that's very raspy. Yep. I noticed that you're funny, so I feel like you got a little comedy side to you. Mm -hmm. There was a TV in the Clue package, which made me go, oh, she's a television star. The domesticated part is what I felt out of it, like mm -hmm. cooking and baking, like to dish out treats. So then I said, maybe TV comedic mom. And the one that kind of goes, it's Wendy McClendon Covey. Oh. Goldberg's Bridesmaid's Tale. That could be a good guess. Okay, sounds like there's still some confusion. Tree, what makes you the tree? Well. I'm festive and fun, and I like everyone to gather around and have a good time. A little bit of a southern twang going on there. Yeah. Ken, you get anything out of that? I mean, she sounds older than, yeah, she. Whoa. She sounds older than, than the young. <laughs> oh, those hips don't Why lie. Those tree hips. Those tree, hips. Those tree like, balls are bouncing. Look right. like a young tree right. to me. Those are some bouncing You're tree young. balls, Ken. This, this, this tree oh, is young. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
you're a young millennial tree. I'm so sorry. It's very confusing. Nick, we're confused. One thing I'm not confused about, that was an entertaining performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the tree. Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the tree mask. Who do you think it is?